guess where I am? I'm in Goa, yes, I'm in Goa. I'm actually here for an event. But when you're in Goa, it cannot just be work, you know, it is a holiday. And because Goa means beaches, uh, fantastic architecture, party, you know, so many things. And okay, confession time. I have been living in Bombay for over three years, but this is my very first time in Goa. Yes, I'm embarrassed to say that. But I mean, you know better late than never right that's what they say so I'm really excited now the problem here is that I'm here only for the weekend meaning I just have about two days and not even two full days so I don't know how much I'll be able to see but the wonderful people here at Grand Hyatt they said that you know they're gonna arrange a car for me and show me around Goa a little bit and I'm really really excited so come along So the idea was to see old Goa, a different side that is rarely talked about. There's a beautiful countryside feel about the place and I spotted a number of houses that were smack in the middle of a lake. Speaking of being offshore, there is a famous story around Goa's casino pride. As live gambling is outlawed on India's land, except for five-star hotels, the owners set up this riverboat casino which is now one of the oldest and most popular tourist attractions. We drove past Fontenas, the Latin Quarter of Goa, and saw a number of beautiful houses. And by the time we reached the Immaculate Conception Church, also known as the Main Panjim Church, it was already evening. Hey guys, so we ended up leaving a little late and it's already sunset. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, see where I am. This is the Panjim Church. It's a very famous church here in Goa and it looks beautiful. Let's go inside. come here to pray and it's um, I don't know the atmosphere is just filled with tranquility and it's just there's a sense of peace it's beautiful Well, fun fact, if you are a movie buff, you would know that Matt Damon famously walked past this bookstore in the movie Born Supremacy. But it does have a wide range of local and international books, newspapers and magazines, some of which are quite rare. And there was quite a chance that I'd end up spending my entire evening here. So before that could happen, we headed off to our next destination.
markets in Goa are a must visit. We are here at the Panjim Market, an energetic open air concept which has an array of goods, food stalls, clothes, artifacts, jewelry, and souvenirs. I stepped into a famous store called Nirvana and picked up a few quirky stuff. Then we stepped into a heritage home belonging to Goa's legend Jack Sukira. Now of course it's converted into an inn today but there's still an old world charm about the place. Antique wooden furniture, old paintings on the wall, vintage artifacts. <laughs> I almost travelled back in time. As we were driving to our next destination, I spotted this pretty little house. Came across this cute little yellow house while we were like driving down. It's a little shop and it appears to be closed, but wow. Don't we like spot it and we just yeah, like go down? It's so pretty we just and down on the yeah, car. we will take a picture. Finally, we stopped by the Veranda restaurant at Fontanas. Well, the day came to an end with all that sightseeing and I was looking forward to what the next day would hold. So like I mentioned earlier, I am put up at Grand Hyatt Goa in Bambalim. It is a fantastic 5-star property, set amidst nature and lush greenery. It feels like a 17th century Indo-Portuguese palace. So grand, so beautiful. And the rooms? Well, just see it for yourself. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through my room. It's a very pretty room. I'm sharing it with Ushnota. Well, I can't deny that with a room like that, I did not feel like stepping out. But since I'm here for an event, I had to get some work done. After a hearty breakfast, work mode was on. See you on the other side. So I just finished uh, my work at the event and I have plans to go swimming today. So. I haven't really shown you the uh, high swimming pool yet, but I think it's really, really pretty, so I can't wait. Guys, the pool looks so tempting, I can't wait to go in. Like the whole, you know, um, this whole palacey feel. Like I don't know what this is supposed to be. Like people will just go inside and chill inside in the middle of swimming. So I'm not sure about that. But okay, guys, see you later. I'm gonna have fun. <laughs> How can 
one be in Goa and not go to the beach, right? I have heard so much about the beaches in Goa. They are so clean, they've got water sports, they even have parties on the beaches. The multitude of beaches here offer something for everyone, I'm sure. But unfortunately, due to my limited time here, I can't go to the uh, more popular beaches. But I'm definitely going to check out the one that's next to Hyatt. And I hope to give you an overview of what to expect. Heaven on earth. This is heaven on earth. Absolutely. Babylon Beach is so peaceful, especially for those who want to enjoy the sand and sea without the crowds that pepper most of the other beaches in North Goa. And if you're like me, who loves taking scenic coastal walks, then this is a must visit. You can do a number of water activities here like snorkeling, swimming, surfing, you can sunbathe or simply play some beach volleyball. My day ended with me watching the beautiful sunset on the beach. Couldn't get better than this. Yes, that was my trip to Goa. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed filming it. Um, I know that there are a lot more popular places in Goa which I'm sure in a lot of the information are already available online. This was my way of showing you um, my trip, some of the more, you know, not so popular places, so which will give you an idea next time you visit Goa, you can probably go to these places. Uh, just to summarize my uh, trip, I think Goa is a lovely place, you know, I love the architecture um, of some of the buildings, you know, it has got this old, you know, Portuguese feel about it, the quaint cafes, the beaches are lovely, I would love to come back, I really, really wish, you know, I had stayed longer, but you know what, Goa is not complete without parties, yes, and that's where I'm headed to right now so come along and don't forget to subscribe to my channel comment like and share and i'll see you next time bye